people under ago, mandatory minimum. It was the first right. step toward not his daughter. Colorado place. Yeah, yeah not his daughter, Florida, not him. No. But let's, that means okay. you'll put people let's in jail. Not, I want to put sick right people right in jail, right but of course, right when he uses it recreationally, it has no consequences. That's true. Go ahead, Christine, I mean, please. You know, I, I enjoyed the interplay. Thank you, gentlemen. I, I just say this. I'm the prosecutor. You know, first off, <laughs> I want to put everybody in jail. Is the first state in the nation that now says if you are a nonviolent, oh, non-dealing drug user, that you don't go to jail for your first offense. You go to mandatory treatment. For your first offense. You see, I think we ought to put pro-life. mandatory treatment for people over eat. to be pro-life <laughs> for more than just the time in the womb. It's, 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 it gets a lot tougher it's when it's they get It's not his fault. Womb. He doesn't have any control. It's the spoon's fault. The spoon right. and fork force its that way into his mouth. <laughs> and we should jail he, is now, a, he is now a result <laughs> of <laughs> having, you know, these dangerous <laughs> spoons and forks coming out. I think we should ban <laughs> spoons and forks so we can stop obesity because it's not about self-control. That's right. What about chopsticks and straws, though? Mm. Okay, let's hold that right there. As, as uh, Joe Biggs pointed <laughs> out, and Joe Biggs is going to be joining us in the uh, fourth hour. Christie as well. He's going to be talking about... Let's, let's pull this down, guys. Uh, Joe Biggs is going to be joining us in the fourth hour. He has a guest who's going to be talking about practical aspects of self-defense. So he's going to be taking over the show in the fourth hour. The point that Joe Biggs was making uh, and that many of us have made over time is, of course, it's about self-control. It is a psychological issue. It's a medical issue. It's a spiritual issue. It is not a law enforcement issue. You cannot stop alcohol by law enforcement. We realize that once upon a time. And you can talk about the practical aspects of it. You can talk about the medical aspects of it. And Rand Paul did a great job of talking about that. He said, you know, when you've got somebody who's suffering 500 epileptic seizures a day, the only thing that solves that is cannabis oil. In recognition of that, here in Texas, we have had the first exception for medical marijuana, and it was for that very condition. And, you know, the interesting thing, Dr. Carson since you're a neurolog- neurolog- uh, neurological specialist and since you are a specialist with epileptic seizures, maybe you might be interested as to what the major cause of these runaway epileptic seizures are when people have these continuous seizures that they can't stop. And the only effective medication is marijuana. You know where those typically are coming from? Those are adverse reactions to vaccines. Maybe you might want to look at some of the epidemiological studies and find out what's going on with that. But you might also want to look at the law. Not only are we talking about informed consent with vaccines, but we're also talking about the Constitution. And it goes beyond the Tenth Amendment. When Rand Paul says... Chris Christie is not going to be allowed to just go in and say, I I don't like the law that the people in Colorado passed. It's more than just that. The Ninth and the Tenth Amendment made it very clear that the only power that the federal government had was what had been deliberately and explicitly given to them in the Constitution. The Ninth Amendment, the enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others that are retained retained by the people. That includes what I use for medicine. That means that the FDA cannot withhold cancer drugs from me if I want to try to take that from pharmaceutical companies. If there's some experimental drug, I'm dying of cancer. I shouldn't have the FDA stand there and tell me whether I or my family can take that drug. That should be my decision, my informed consent. I should be able to look at those studies and decide if I want to do that. The same thing is true about marijuana, whether it's to treat these massive continual seizures as a result of an adverse reaction to a vaccine, or whether it's used to treat something like glaucoma, or as some people believe that it's effective in treating cancer. That should be my decision. The Tenth Amendment divides power, says power is not delegated to the U.S. by the Constitution, nor prohibited to it by the states, are reserved to the states respectively or to the people. So they're talking about that as well. But here is the big elephant in the room of prohibition for the Republicans, and that is the 18th Amendment. You realize that when we decided that alcohol was such a dangerous drug that we needed to try to prohibit it for the greater good, you realized at that point what was required by a government that obeyed the Constitution, that still had respect for the Constitution, was the 18th Amendment. We had to have an amendment to prohibit alcohol. Where is your marijuana prohibition amendment? Where is your heroin prohibition amendment? Where do you get the authority to prohibit medical drugs from people, FDA? You do not have it. The 18th Amendment and the 21st Amendment, which repeal the 18th Amendment, stand in testimony to the illegitimacy of the war on drugs. But of course we know that because they're just directly stealing people's property. 
as part of civil asset forfeiture, locking people up for vast amounts of time for the prison industrial complex. That's the sad state of affairs that we have in America. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and joining us now is Alex Jones reporting in. Alex? David, thank you so much. I'm incredibly humbled by our listeners and our supporters, and they're just amazing action in the last 48 hours. We're so close to a million dollars. Sounds like a lot of money, but the globalists have trillions they've stolen from us. They've debased our currency. They've attacked our cultures. They've destroyed our sovereignty, but we're fighting back. And InfoWars is just one manifestation of that resistance. And that's why I get humbled when I talk to listeners on the street. That's why I get humbled when I see David Knight, you know, moving his whole family down here three years ago, believing in the fight against tyranny. Uh, and, you know, selling a successful business to come down here and do this, it really humbles me. So I want to thank everybody. I'm joining you via audio Skype. Six months ago, I agreed to go to a family wedding uh, in Omaha, Nebraska, of any place. It's raining up here. So that's why I'm gone the day after uh, the money bomb because I agreed to this wedding. It seems like the only time uh, that I travel these days is when I'm going to, going to a wedding. Uh, but I, I've got family from Texas and others getting married all over all over the country. Just a few months ago, it was uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan. I was there for a wedding with Buckley. And, you know, that's the great thing. Life goes on, families coming together. That's why we fight against the tyrants who are targeting humanity. When I was at the Omaha airport this morning, I was supposed to fly out yesterday, but American Airlines glitch was a glitch. Uh, first, they said the flight was delayed, then it was canceled like night at night. Uh, but I I had this epiphany in the Omaha airport, or actually the Denver airport connecting over to Omaha this morning that I'm going to be talking about more on the Sunday show uh, with David Knight. And then, of course, I'll be back Sunday uh, by showtime, but he'll be co-hosting with me. And I just had this epiphany that we'll be discussing in the future because this information is so important. It's also hiding in plain view. I don't want to just halfway put it out here and not do a good job of breaking it down. But I'm extremely humbled to be here. Uh, everybody's got my commitment that we will not back down from the truth. We will tell the truth till the very end. And we will defeat these globalists. We will take action against them. And it's just so exciting to see what we've done so far. And just to imagine four hours of the radio slash TV show that you're listening to right now, and then an hour at night of the nightly news and the Sunday show beamed all over the world. Phase one is North America uh, reaching stations uh, all over these different regions. It's so exciting to know that people won't just have CNN or RT to tune into internationally uh, or maybe Japanese, you know, very dry news. That's international as well. They will have info wars and what we're talking about. And people respond to it because it's common sense. It's not rocket science. It's common sense, it's pro-human, it's pro-freedom. And I look at the New World Order doing everything they can to bring down the West right now, uh, bringing in the most radical Muslims you can imagine, openly saying, we're coming for your women, we're coming for your freedom, you're weak, we're going to enslave you, ha, ha, ha. But the West will wake up from its self-induced trance, the West will wake up to how it's being destroyed, and the West will lead the world once again out of this new dark age that we see coming down. I'm not enemies with the poor, pathetic Ford Foundation run radical Muslims, but I'm glad they feel so arrogant to see us on our knees right now, so pathetic to openly brag your daughters are ours. We're going to conquer you. We're going to convert you by the sword. Ha ha ha. Because they've been told by the globalists, this is their prize. They've been told this is their promise. Uh, they are being manipulated as well. The truth is the globalists want to steal the promise of basic human interaction, the family itself, basic procreation, basic biology, just like Monsanto and Archer Daniels want to steal seeds and plants creating new seeds in that eternal cycle that God created. They blasphemously create the Terminator genes where the seeds don't grow more plants. This is a globalist monopoly on life, the ultimate corporate monopoly takeover. We as free humans have a right to say no to it and to resist. And humanity is only now understanding their peril. And the chain reaction has begun. And I can tell you now, the new world order in the end will Thank only make humanity stronger. GCN. Their attempt to take over society and civilization and dumb today. us down and enslave us will only backfire. All right, my friends, in closing, I'm going to hand the baton back to David Knight and then to Joe Biggs, who's going to host the fourth hour. InfoWars is about the human experience. InfoWars is about 
finding people that are veterans who've never been in the media, finding folks that have never been reporters before, but are patriots and love freedom, and showing that they can become proficient, aggressive, successful defenders of the republic. And that's exactly what we've done with the new crew that we've developed in the last three, four years at InfoWars. And you've got my promise. We're going to find more talented people and more people that want to fight tyranny in this organization that you're a part of. When you spread the word about InfoWars.com, when you spread the word about the syndicated radio broadcasts or the television shows or the films or the news articles, you are the InfoWar. So, again, I'm very humbled. I want to thank all the listeners. The 28-hour money bomb officially ended yesterday with $700,000 raised. Very humbling. That will really help us go to the next level together. We've raised almost $300,000 since then. We'll undoubtedly, thanks to your support, go over a million. So we're going to extend all the huge sales, the free shipping, uh, the 20% off, so many of the nutraceuticals and other products right through the weekend. But it will end. This is the final extension, 6 o'clock Sunday when the 4 to 6 p.m. radio show slash TV show ends. So on the Sunday broadcast ends, 4 to 6 p.m., all these specials and things will end. Uh, if you're a new listener and you haven't contributed directly at Infowars.com forward slash Money Bomb, what are you doing? We talk about the tyranny. We talk about everything that's happening. People say, why won't someone do something? We are doing something. So look at all the others, the thousands and thousands the tens of thousands that have contributed, whether you give a dollar, whether you give a hundred dollars, or whether you buy some of the products, or whether you spread the word to friends and family to tune in, giving that energy to a good cause only resonates and creates a freer, greater world for you as well. So I salute everyone. I want to thank you all. I want to thank the entire crew for working so hard the last few days. And Lord willing, the info war will now go to the next level. And it's all part of the great animating contest of liberty. But again, even if you can't financially donate or buy any of the great products, don't feel bad. Pray for us. We'll pray for you and tell friends and family and neighbors about Infowars.com. Sign off on your Facebook and your Twitter and your emails, Infowars.com forward slash show, the front lines of the resistance, the forbidden information, what the globalists don't want you to know, the cure to the new world order is Infowars.com. God bless you all. Back to David Knight. Thank you, Alex. And as Alex pointed out, he has extended the specials on the Money Bomb until 6 uh, on uh, Sunday. That would be the end of the radio show. He has extended free shipping until midnight tonight. You can see some of those specials there. Uh, Survival Shield is going to sell out this weekend. Uh, we have already sold out of some other products, but you can see those products at InfoWarsLife.com. And Joe Biggs is going to be joining us. He's going to be taking over the fourth hour of the show, actually. Uh, he's going to be coming in here in the next segment. He's going to be interviewing Aaron Cohen of Sage Dynamics. They're going to talk about gun control, but not how to prevent it, but how to use it to really control what you hit, to know what you're doing in a real world scenario. They're going to talk about real world scenarios like active shooters. They're going to give you some very helpful hints. So you're going to want to make sure that you hear this next uh, Overdrive Hour with Joe Biggs and uh, his guest, Aaron Cohen of Sage Dynamics. Now, before we go to break, I just want to mention one other thing. As we're talking to um, Wayne Madsen about the way ISIS is being used by Lindsey Graham and the other neocons as a, um, as a special incantation along with national security to do whatever they wish. There is now the latest fear-mongering that's being reported by the D.C. Closed Line. We have um, the U.K. Express saying, what would happen if ISIS got weaponized bubonic plague? And the question is, where would they get that weaponized bubonic plague? Well, that would be from the Department of Defense, the Pentagon. As we pointed out earlier this week, they've been shipping it out over standard shipping. We have revelation after revelation, a new one today, going back to a 2007 release. They bring the stuff in, they make it more deadly, they make it more easily to, easy to catch, and then they ship it out. Will that be our next false flag? Will they blame it on ISIS to take away more of our freedoms and liberty? Stay with us. We'll be right back with Joe Biggs and his guest. Welcome to the InfoWars Overdrive. This is the final hour of the Alex Jones Show. I'm your host, Joe Biggs, and today we have an awesome segment for you planned. Today I will be talking to Aaron Cohen of Sage Dynamics, Purpose Driven Training. Now, what he does is he goes to different locations and trains people on different scenarios, possibly an active shooter, how to react, 
if you're in your car and someone approaches you, welcome to the show, Aaron. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Pretty awesome, man. It's good to have you.